Hello everyone, I'm Chin and you can call me Ken. This is the Chrono Engine ABS Mode Force tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to use a hookshot. And what is a hookshot? Let's just take a look. This is my hookshot. It was an item. And when I press A to use the item, I can teleport to here. And when I want to go back, and it don't have to be a river, it could be ground. And this is the hook shot. And as for how to do this, now let's take a look. Let's first look at the tool map. This is the hook shot we use today, and it was the two ID four. Now let's check it out. I use item. To define this hook shot, and it was the item ID four, and inside the hook shot there will be a special theme. It was this common two hook shot and a number, and this number is the distance you want to use the hook shot. So if the distance was really long, then you just make it larger. And that's all for the hook shot, the tool ID. And then just look at the database. And since I'm using item, let's check the item. And inside here, there will be a hook shot. And just make the consumable to know. So you could just keep using it. And then remember the tool ID. So you can connect this item to your tool map ID four, and that's all for the hook shot. And after you have create an item hook shot, you'll need to create something that your hook shot to teleport your character. So let's just. To get this, I've created something. Well, this doesn't matter, but you need to remember there must be something in the image, and then just put in this, the collision hook shot. It was just like the rock, the grass, but this one is special. The collision is hook shot, and the priority is okay. You could make it the same below and above. The only thing you need to remember is the image must be something over here. Then there's still one thing I want to tell you, and I want to introduce you the dead switch and the dead variable. And what is this? This means when you kill the enemy. And it will turn on some switch, or if you kill the enemy, and some variable x will plus one to its value. And how to use this? It was through the database. So just go to see your enemies, and look at the slime. And inside the node tag, I've put a dead switch. So when the slime's dead, the switch one will be on, and when the slime's dead, the variable one will plus one to its value. And now, let's check this out. First, let's look at F9, and as you can see. The switch ID one. I name it slime. It was off now, and the variable. Well, I give it Q, so it could count how many slime I have queued. And first, I'll need to. Bomb the rock, so I could get in. 
Then I'll need to kill the slime. Okay, now it's dead. And let's look at F9 again. And as you can see, the variable one. It's one now. And the switch one, it was on. Now, let's kill another one. And let's see what would happen. Okay, the slime is dead. And let's look at F9. And look at the variable. As you can see, it was 2. So every time when you kill a slime, the variable will plus 1 to its value. And I think this is the end of today's tutorial. And if you like it, please thumbs up or subscribe. Thank you very much.